Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use AutoKeras, which is an automated machine learning library, which is dedicated to find the best deep learning model for your problem. The first thing that I would like to do in this video while I continue with the introduction is to actually install some libraries. So pip install AutoKeras. And then as well, I also want to install, so pip install by dataset. So this is where we are going to get our dataset. And here we go. Let me do control enter. And one of the things that I find fascinating about this is that in general, I do find deep learning to be complex, especially when it comes from a coding perspective. It takes far more just to do a simple model than any other general machine learning model. And actually, AutoCaris tries all of them or tries a bunch. And it's actually so easy, as you will be able to see. If you're interested in learning more about what I do, please do subscribe to the channel. And I will also leave some links in the description for my Udemy courses. Now, let's keep it going. And now that we have installed, now what I want to do is that I want to import library. So import auto keras as ak, import or rather yet from by dataset. I want to import data and then finally let me import pandas as pd. And here we go. Let me do control enter. And the next step is to actually get the data. Here we go. So data equals two, and then I do data, and then I use the heart. So I want the heart data set. And let's have a look as to what actually is. So data dot head. Here we go. So this is whether someone had a heart attack or not. This is labeled in the variable event. And then of course, you also have age, year, surgery, transplant. And what I see here is that we have this ID variable, which for me makes no sense. So it is time that we start our data preparation. So that will be the first starting point. So data equals data dot I lock square brackets and then all the observations and all but the last one. And here we go. Control enter. And let me do another line of code because now the goal is to have train and test set. And if you're not following this, do not worry because I'm actually sharing this collab script with you. So you can find it in the description of this video. And actually before this, I want from sklearn dot model selection. I want to import the train test split. And now, yes, now I'll use the train test split. And then I just include first the data and then the test size. Here we go. And I'm going to do 0 0.2. Here we go. Let's do control enter. Let's open a new line of code because now let's isolate the Y variable. Here we go. So prep Y variable. And now what can we do? We can do so y train equals two. I go to my train and then I pop my event variable. And this pop function, what it does is that first it gives it to the y train and then it also removes it from the train. So it's actually a two in one. And let's do the same for below. Control C and then Control V. And then I want y test, then test dot pop. Here we go. So control enter. And now that we have done this, we're actually ready for the auto keras part of this tutorial. The first thing is our model. So model equals two. We go to our auto keras and then we use the structured data classifier because we are doing a classification problem. So someone either had a heart attack or not. And then let me do overwrite equals to false. And as well, what I want to do. So number of trials that I want. So max trials equals to 20. So it's going to run uh, 20 times. And let me do control enter. 
and let me also open a new line of code because after that we actually fit the model and below what we do is model dot fit open parenthesis and then we include the train the y train and then we include a validation split so how much do we want because it's rather cross validation so within our train how much do we want it to have on the validation perspective or on the test perspective validation underscore split equals to again 0 0.2 and then how many epochs i mean let's do 10 i think this one should work out let me do control enter and while it is running let me also put the stopwatch so you can see how long it actually takes all right so quite fast so only 45 seconds and this is because of course i only included 10 epochs and as well only 20 trials the question with automated machine learning or in this case automated deep learning is rather how long are you actually willing to take and of course this is a tiny data set so everything is going to run fast but if you have a data set on the thousands or you know hundred thousand or millions and then of course you want to give it a lot of epochs a lot of trials so that you really tune and that you really find that one good model after we fit it then it's time that we evaluate it and this is the last part of this tutorial and first what is the best model and this is quite simple so we go and we start by using the predicted underscore y and then we use our model dot predict and here we use our test and then afterwards what we do is that we're going to print the model evaluation and then and then here we just include model dot evaluate and then inside we include the test and then the y test and here we go so y test let me do control enter and then here we would conclude that with our best model we actually get an accuracy of 0 0.69 as a result we're also done with the video i hope that you enjoyed it and you saw how easy it is to apply automated deep learning to your problem i'm looking forward to seeing you in another video. Until then, have fun.